How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to talk about one of the most annoying iPhone issues and that is Face ID not working and of course I'll teach you how to fix it, how to fix this annoying thing. So Face ID not working is a problem that's getting more and more common especially because iPhones with Face ID are getting older so then this is happening quite a lot. So in this video I'll talk about all of those issues, how they may present to you, and of course how to fix it. So if you're having this issue right now, you know what to do, or if you have an iPhone with Face ID, you're fine now, but maybe you'll have this in the future, you'll know what to do if this happens, all right? So without further ado, let's begin. So if you're facing this issue of Face ID not working, you're gonna see either this screen and this will show up when you're trying to set up Face ID. So as you can see, you see the Face ID screen with the setup option and everything like that. But you're gonna have this pop-up message saying, Face ID is not available, try setting up Face ID later. And as you tap on OK, it's gonna go back. So it's just not gonna work at all. You won't be able to set up Face ID, or you're gonna see this screen right here, which will say, move iPhone a little lower. So position your face within the frame. So as you can see, even if you have your face position within the frame, it just won't work. And it'll, and it'll say either move iPhone a little lower or move iPhone a little higher. Meaning that there's definitely an issue with Face ID because you're doing everything it asks. Uh, it's just not working at all. So either this screen, this one, or both of them. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying Face ID not working, okay? The whole point of this video. Now, in order to fix this, there are a few things we can do. So let's get started. Thing number one is head over to settings and then go to general and software update. That's right. It's very easy and it's very common that if you have your software outdated, you may have issues with Face ID. A lot of issues with Face ID will be fixed with a software update. So do as I did, go to software update, check if there's an update like I have, for example, iOS 14.5 in my case, but on yours, it may be a later version, all right? And then just go ahead, download and install it there's a huge chance that this will fix your issue. If that doesn't help and you're still getting problems with Face ID, there are two things that I need you to check. First, check if there's something blocking the sensors, if there's something blocking the Face ID sensors, all right, which are right here on the notch. Check if you have a screen protector, check if it, it's dirty or something like that. If you have a screen protector, uh, make sure to remove it just to test it out, just to be sure if it's dirty, clean it. So make sure it's cleaned and pristine, okay? If it's perfect, like mine is, as you guys can see, also check if there's something blocking your face when you're trying to register Face ID, to set up Face ID. Check if you're wearing a mask or if you're wearing some accessory, anything that's blocking your face a lot because that may cause Face ID to malfunction, to not work because you're blocking your face with something. After doing all of that and checking all of that, if it still doesn't work, the next thing you need to do is restart your iPhone. And I'm not talking about locking your screen, I'm talking about restarting. So turning off and turning back on. And the process for all iPhones with Face ID is the same. So you're gonna press your side button and your volume down or volume up. Press both of them and hold. And as you guys can see, you're gonna see this screen and all you have to do is slide to power off. Slide to power off, right? So wait for it to turn off. You can wait like 10, 15 seconds just to make sure it's completely off and then turn it back on, okay? This is just rebooting the device. We're not doing anything drastic here, okay? And then uh, now we can power it on again. To power on, all you have to do is press the side button. As you can see, just the side button. You don't need to press anything here. And then as you see the Apple logo, you can let go until it goes back and it just reboots. If it's still no deal, let's continue. There's still a few things we can try, okay? So let's head over to settings once again. But this time we are scrolling down and going to Face ID and Passcode, okay? So let's play with Face ID settings themselves. And as you can see, 
we'll need to actually manually type in our passcode. So type it in and then hit done. And then we'll have here our face ID settings. And that's exactly where our issue is, right? Because we can't set it up. So you know the screen already. And what I wanted to do is try something different, which is set up an alternative appearance. Okay, so tap here and see if this screen works. So as you guys can see, my iPhone is perfect, so it will work. So if I just put my, uh, my face here, get started, it'll just work. It'll pick up my face, everything is perfect. But um, so if that happens with you, it means that maybe it'll work. Okay, so try setting up an alternative appearance. If that doesn't work either, let's move on because we have two final options. And the second to last option is to reset face ID, right? So tap here on reset face ID. And then as you can see, it has just deleted, excluded your current face ID. And you can try and set up again. And again, if it works for you, you can get started. If it works for you, perfect. It's working. It's fully functional. So you're ready to go. Okay. So it's, it's working. If it's not, if it's if you're still getting that screen that I showed you in the intro and everything like that, it didn't work. So we just have one final option. By the way, when you tap on setup face ID, I know a lot of you guys are going to ask this on the in the comment section. And if I tap on get started, you'll see here something blinking here. So lights blinking here. Did you see that lights blinking? Okay, so those lights that are blinking can only be seen through a camera okay so through a camera i am not seeing those lights with my naked eye so a lot of you guys say my face id is broken because those lights are not flashing no nope, those lights don't flash i mean they only flash through the camera only the camera can actually see those lights not my naked eye so again i'm not seeing those lights on my naked eye okay just to be very very clear so this is not the issue all right so last thing you can do last resort as you can probably imagine is going back to your settings going to general scrolling all the way down and resetting your iphone so reset and actually erase all content and settings the second option that will in fact remove everything from your iphone delete everything from your iphone just completely reset it wipe it out so you will actually get it as if it's brand new out of the box okay so this is the last option because it's a little bit annoying to do this because you have to erase everything and then set it up all over again get your backups and everything like that but you can do this and this is your final option all right if if you're not familiar with this or not comfortable doing that don't worry i have a dedicated video on this on how to reset and recover your data and i'll put the link right here so you can go ahead click and follow my step-by-step -step guide on this part exclusively on the restoring process on the resetting process okay just to be very clear so this is your final option and unfortunately there's a chance that even that won't work and if that doesn't work it means that you don't have a problem with the software regarding face id because we have updated the software we have reset it restarted we have done everything so it's not related to ios to the software itself it's actually related to face id the hardware thing so there's a hardware issue on your face id if all of those steps don't work okay so there's a problem with face id maybe with the sensor maybe with the camera maybe with both uh, maybe you dropped it, maybe I uh, got in contact with water, or maybe it just broke just like that. It didn't do anything, it just got old and broke, and that unfortunately does happen. So, in order to fix when you have a hardware issue, as you can imagine, it can only be done by a technician, so it will have to be sent to Apple, they'll open it up, diagnose the problem, and either fix it or give you a new one, it's a whole different story but if you did all of the things that i showed you in this video and it didn't work you definitely definitely have a hardware problem and your iphone needs to be repaired there's nothing you can do you've done everything you could do at home like i showed you so that's why i showed you uh, in the intro of this video saying that 
this is how to fix it because in fact everything that I showed you in this video will fix most cases but I know that a lot of you guys will still have this problem even if you follow my video and that's exactly because it's a hardware issue it has to do with the cameras and sensors and there's nothing unfortunately we can do but again I hope this was helpful to you. I hope that at least you could understand the problem a little bit better and you know what to do now. Even if you couldn't fix from this video, you know you have to contact Apple, take it to an Apple store or an authorized repair uh, facility, take it there and tell them you have a hardware issue and they will hook you up, all right? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.